there to that issue. Like, by default, oh, as you are sitting down, something does remind you, uh -huh, they are coming for you this weekend. As you are seated, your rent is due. Shay, you have been praying. You come and tell me. Do you, know, do you know that thing that paralyzes you before the day of death comes? The anticipation of death is worse than death itself. They call it the paralysis of analysis. Satan will overanalyze for you why you cannot laugh. You want to laugh, you just. <laughs> I'm telling you. You say, Pastor, you know, I've been there. It takes a deliberate effort to break through, sir. Ah. Uh, if you are not deliberate, you will just remind what are you laughing for? It's a good day. What is good about today? You know, it will just keep you perpetually in depression. I know the bad thing about depression is looking for a friend. So when you see somebody else happy, why is this one always shouting? You are too loud. Or oh, you are too quiet. <laughs> Ask anybody that has known me from time. He's a shouting priest, though. Hallelujah. From the days of secondary school, I would just what did happen? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We don't have to. God bless you. He's a faithful God. They will just say kilo today. So we just know they've started just taking we Let them see. That's how I have been shot. They be calling us names. We are looking younger. Uh, see, don't let anybody let situations define your mood. The outcome of your end is that you will win. How you will win, it doesn't have to be your portion. Yes, sir. Hey. See, eh? let me just tell you something. If you will not want to know something about this ministry, it's a rejoicing ministry. Anybody that comes to this pulpit and does not keep us rejoicing is not the one I sent. You must be under perpetual pressure to make people rejoice. What's wrong with you? What are we, what are we preaching if there's no joy? What are we preaching if joy is not the outcome? Oh God, everybody must rejoice. So. Everybody must rejoice by force. We don't need to know everything. It's only God that knows everything. We just know our own portion that is good. How the story ends. <laughs> the story says you win. I don't need to know. The director of the movie said, ah, you, you are the one that will act actor. Actor, no, they die, sir. <laughs> Did you watch that cartoon? That they shot one guy. I don't know if you've seen that cartoon. Oh, I wish you can find it. I wonder I'll bring cartoon. Some of us, you don't like watching film. We'll make you watch film by force on TV. They saw him, actor. They saw him and shot his head. Boa! He came out again alive. Actor, no, they die, sir. You are the actor of your own destiny. You cannot die prematurely. Now, listen to me. Don't let money condition your joy. Don't let money determine how well your smile is curved. No. You must break free from that thing. I'm telling you, it makes a lot of sense to say that you have some malachi, that's why you are smiling. Oga, you have to learn to do without and be smiling. Jesus was carrying God, yet he did not have all the money on the earth. Did I say he was carrying God? He was God. Yet, at a point, they say, give us money. He said, I don't have. Go and look for it in the mouth of a fish. I've always said it. Don't let money determine. Money is man-made. If God were to spend money, we would not spend Naira, sir. If God were to give you money now, he's not going to be looking for that. Sorry, I'm for Naira, come. Some of us will be talking to God. Oh, no, I should not be looking for 2K. You're telling God, oh, no, please, 2K. Sir, your God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Learn to believe these things. Let me say quickly, I still have some 10, 15 minutes, so we'll close here. Let me just share with you quickly what I have to say. Can we just do that quickly? Father, breathe upon your word. Let your word go into us as we go into your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I want to speak today about men, money, and marriage. But I'll be very brief. 